we often think about that notion of melting pot. And that's something that I used to embrace as a kid. And I thought that was empowering and inclusive. But in reality, it's about melting away your own identity. Specific incidents that have brought us together as a community around like racism against you know, people who look like us in the middle of um, coronavirus, that, that will go away. But you know, like I said earlier, that's a symptom. That's not the disease. The disease is racism. You dismantle communities is by fragmenting communities. You know, it's classic. And how do we come together and say, what is good for our community? What is good for the next generation? It's not enough to just conform. It's not enough to just do, you know, study to the test. We have to find our own strength and be able to shine through so that we not only take the feedback and get better at it, get promoted, but that we also can leapfrog and build our own leadership model. And what I've learned um, and from others in the Black Lives Matter movement is that you can still speak up on your way to the top. You don't need to be at the top to have these conversations. And secondly, um, you don't need to be a DI, DI expert uh, to be united against systemic racism. Every day I think about how can I amplify underrepresented voices? How do I bring those to light? And how do we democratize content at scale and showcase those uh, folks that otherwise wouldn't have been seen? And that sort of gives me that, that fire to keep going. We do have to reach back and we have to support the community or else everyone's on the treadmill and no one's gonna make any progress. Those are the people who open doors for me. People who spot opportunities before they exist. People who look at things and realize that there may be a fit between what I can bring to the table versus what they might need. They validate my experience. They give me the strength and the courage to be at a place like this to share all these things that I feel really uncomfortable talking about. And so I think the onus is also on us to recognize those, those differences and the talents within our organization and help to promote that. The people that we choose to partner with, the culture that we choose to amplify and build, are all opportunities for us to, to, to create the, the, the right type of equality and the right type of images that we want as people go forward. I want to get to a place where a brand doesn't have to be considered brave for doing that work and it just becomes normal. If we as business leaders um, are willing to put so much time and effort into stand-up business in, uh, initiatives, then we need to be willing to make an even longer and bolder commitment to equality and equity.